Hello everyone, Pallytub here, and welcome back to the channel. I am very happy to say that Starfield has finally arrived. I have been a fan of Bethesda games since 2006, when I first picked up Oblivion and realized just how expansive worlds can be. Since then, I started gaming on PC. I've played every Elder Scrolls game. I've played every Fallout game. I love the world's that Bethesda makes. But this is not a single world. This is an entire universe and a brand new IP. And to say I'm excited is a bit of an understatement. My plan is to release 14 videos in the first seven days, but I'm gonna do you guys one better. The second this video gets 2000 likes, I'll go ahead and release episode two. I'm recording that tonight too. I'm sitting down for a pretty long gaming session. I hope you guys are excited about this series. I hope you guys are excited about the release schedule that we're putting up this week. And well, I guess there's nothing else to do but to jump into the game now. Bethesda Game Studios presents Starfield. Soul date May 7th, 2330. Argos Extractor's mining outpost, the moon of Vectera. Oh, we're mining? Wait, is this like we're waking up on, on that cottage? On that little carriage, excuse me? Are we about to get our head chopped off? Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. What would that be? Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Listen to Lynn, exactly. got it. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Star Dock, except uh, with more cave ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, <laughs> She's like, it's not that bad, go on. Even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Uh, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. So she was checking my seals, so I think my mask is already on. We're in a mining facility on a moon, and I think it's safe to say okay. there's no oxygen Let's here. see what we've got. How are we on time? How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Yeah, I don't want that either, for what it's worth. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. <laughs> that would be too easy, huh? Working in free stock collective space? Fewer regs. A job like Look at those lasers. Dreams of red tape. Can I get one of the, What are you doing? Just zigzagging it all? Whoa! This one over here. I know, I saw no. it too. No! Ah, no, no, no. It's a laser, not a sledgehammer. Ease up. Yeah, you need to settle down. If you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go. <laughs> if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Okay. What do we say, Dusty's? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Am I going to be able to do some mining? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. 
I really like some of the UI elements so far. Our health being displayed over on the right is pretty clean, pretty small bar. I really like that I get a heads up display. Like this guy's name is Troy. I like how that attaches Running to him. Through these veins pretty quick. Well, it's good. Nice, efficient job. I'm not your superior or anything, but I'd promote you. <laughs> yes, ma'am, right away. Shout out when you need me. Yes, ma'am, heard. Thank you. Now, I often find myself, we have a puppy that we walk every night. Now I hear this is the last dig. The last dig? No way. I have a puppy we walk every night, and on every single walk, I'm looking up at the stars, imagining what it would like to be traveling among them. I'm busy. I think I was born one or two generations too early to be amongst the humans as they really start to travel across the stars. But I think about it all the time. What are we farming in here? Beryllium. You know, being a miner probably wouldn't be my first job. So let's let's think about how maybe my character got here. Now, if I had it my way, I think I'd be a smuggler or a bounty hunter. The Mandalorian or Han Solo, dude. How sick would that be? But you know, if you need money, you need money. And if they need beryllium, I can aim a laser as good as the next guy. They're ready for us. Oh, that's it. Okay, come, boss. Did you just sit there and watch me? This well, guy isn't even lasering anything. What are you paying these people for? Me. Yes, ma'am. Right this way. Understood. Come on, with me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, is that the big vein that they were talking about? Is this truck oh. drilling it out? Do I have a flashlight? Oh, F. Ooh. It is looking a little smoky in here for what it's worth. But I mean, I guess that doesn't matter when you're wearing a spacesuit. We're not breathing in any of this. Nice! I was gonna say good job, but there's not even a pilot. Was that all done remotely? It was, man, that's cool. Look at that. Hella, perfect break. Yeah, good yeah, job. About that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. What would that mean? Don't. You don't? What we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. What are we after? Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. Just another job. Come on. This is a big area. So this was like a natural cave in this area, like a hollow area. Well, I guess I can get some more beryllium. Boss has got to be happy with that. I'll gather up the rest of this too. Oh, there was another mineral in here too. Can I range this stuff? Uh, neodium? I don't know what that's used for. Well, truth be told, I don't I don't know what beryllium's used for either. Whoa, is that a node? Whoa! Boss, did I find something? Whoa. Okay, it looks like just another deposit. But that was cool. I didn't know I could break through the wall like that. I hear them talking on the path above me, probably just through the comms. I'll try to get back up there. Subtitles turned on for you guys. I know you like them. Why would anything go wrong? Uh, Ma'am, I, I was just doing some uh, some mining down there. I know that you said we were looking for something else, but I figured, you know, uh, overachieve a little bit. Maybe I'll get to go home early. Hey, don't look at me. I've done my part. What, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Oh, you want me to go up there? Fine. And here I thought she would be happy with me. Then I found all that extra stuff. Well, this path does look relatively stable. More beryllium leading up to it, it looks like. Uh, Space mining is kind of okay, satisfying. Gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Roger that. Heading in right now. This, uh, it's narrowing out a little bit here. It's like another tunnel system. It's kind of weird that they're not coming up here with me, right? They're both just standing back there looking at a notepad. That's a a little weird, right? I'm coming up to an opening. Do you see anything? Yeah, weird mucusy tendrils. Oh, what's this here, though? Is this safe to walk in? I mean, I guess I am wearing a suit. That's probably fine. Explore the cavern. 
Oh, there's some strange material in here. I'm gonna try to cut it free. I don't know why I'm turning around to use my suit's radio. Did it come loose? Oh, I can just touch it. Wait, it does kind of have symbols on it. This doesn't look like a natural mineral. Come on, get out of there. Dusty, not out of it. What? Man? Where am I? Hey, come on, come on. Okay. Hey. Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. That's fair. <laughs> you know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Uh, new any recruit? This look familiar? Look familiar? Oh, is this the character creator? Oh, awesome. I'll be right, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. After about 20 minutes of tinkering, I'd like to introduce you to Charles. His friends call him Charlie. His body type is muscular with a little bit of fat on there. His face, oh my gosh, there is so much detail in here. This is me just scrolling down from the top. Look how many options there are for things that we can tweak. Even better, if you look at an area like our forehead, for instance, you'll see I selected forehead four is what I had before. But you can blend forehead four with, let's say, forehead seven to make it look more like that or something in between. There's also global differences that you can add to each of the shapes. So if you want your head to be a little wider, you can just do that up here and then adjust with the presets down here. I thought this was all super duper impressive. Our background is, of course, a bounty hunter. Smuggler wasn't on the list. I was talking about these earlier. I didn't know I was gonna have these choices. So I went with bounty hunter. Wherever there are wanted individuals, there are those who profit from their capture. And your quarry knows that in the vastness of space, they can run, but they can't hide. This is gonna give us bonuses to piloting, targeting control systems, as well as boost pack training. To go along with that, we also have some traits. I decided to go with kid stuff, which makes it so my parents are still alive and I can go visit them. Your parents are alive and well, you can visit them on their home, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. I'm totally fine with that. We also have space. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased while in space, but decrease when on the surface of planets. There are other traits, for instance, uh, terra firma, which gives you bonuses when you're on a planet, but they cannot be picked at the same time. So I'm choosing to be a traveler of space, which is really my dream anyway. And to wrap things up, I picked up Taskmaster. Occasionally, if you have a crew member trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's damaged below 50%. However, all crew costs twice as much to hire. Twice as much is a lot. But I don't know. I don't, these just seem cool. I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> Bet you were expecting a quiet job compared to your last gig. Bounty hunter turned space miner. <laughs> hey, anything for money. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Well, I was digging out this thing and it was incredible. It was like a dream. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. That's what was sending off the Never weird gravity waves? Like. I just wanted to look at it more. Mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... What was that? Of the devil. Devil? Hey, boss, I'm just going to follow you if that's okay. Oh, I even found the walk. It really is a Bethesda game. <laughs> Client is here. Let's go. Client Our for the thing? Our contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. 
Hey, uh, so I'm they're a joke saying, recently. They got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? <laughs> Not to them, apparently. Who does that anymore? My entire right, dream. Airlock, put your helmet on. Right, how do I put my helmet on? Great qu- Is it supposed to be this red in here? That's not like me losing my brain, right? So it's tab, inventory, then helmets, none equipped. Are they really trying to like cement this into me right now? I need to actively be equipping my helmets. Uh, it is on as far as I know. Hopefully our eyeballs don't shoot out into space here in a moment. Hey, it looks like we're good. Pass test number one. That was a fast airlock. Oh, that's kind of bright, don't you think? Oh, that's not that bad. Hey. So we're just handing this thing off, right? This should be fine, right? Nothing bad's gonna happen. Are they coming in? Oh! <gasps> wow! Really? In a discovery class? That ship's older than this moon. Did you guys speak up a little bit? A discovery class. They said that was an old ship. Maybe that's what they explored the stars with when humanity first started reaching out. Hey, nice ship you got here. How you doing? Uh, we brought this thing for you. I mined it myself. Don't touch it with your bare hands. You guys know each other? <laughs> yes, it has. Oh. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? That right, right there, here. bud. The new guy found it. Hey. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? I wouldn't say everything. And no, Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. I did, yeah. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip. Huh? <laughs> went on a trip, huh, cowboy? How would you know about that? Well... You could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. That's a funny way of looking about that. You could call it a, a ride. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. We'll be right on our way. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Spirit, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. Coming in hot? I really thought I lost them. Oh, you getting tracked, bud? Holy shit! That's the Crimson Fleet! Weapons. Who are the Crimson Fleet? Oh, weapons, everybody get ready! Okay! What do I got? What do I got? I got a pistol and some ammo and a med pack. And a mining machine. Okay, hold on. Uh, I have the, the mining cutter selected. I think I have to get something else on. That's the cutter. This is my Eon pistol. It does 10 damage per shot. I'm glad I swapped this out. Can you look? Oh, you can look at all this stuff too in your inventory. Now's not the time. ADD kicked in. Here we go. Okay, stick to cover. Stick to cover. Oh, heads up display on the gun too. All right, you good, bro? I'll be right here with you. Hi, my name's Charles. Oh shit. Right out of the docking bay. All right, I'm gonna move up on the right. Try to. I cannot reload and move. Okay, should have probably seen that coming. There's an explosive tank directly next to me. This is not a safe place to be. I'm gonna try to flank around on the side. Do we have free shots here? We do, back of the head of the pirate. And the hip, we hit the hip too. Well, they're just taking off. They're leaving them here. Maybe. They ran into a little bit more resistance than they were expecting. Oh shit, but you okay? Oh my god. You alright? Somebody cover me! 
Seems like there's one more, at least. And another that backed up to the high ground there. But luckily for us, they seem to have a shotgun or something. I have enough bullets for this, so we should be fine. You pin me in there, bud. I'm pushing. Ooh, big explosion. Everybody good? Oh, not everybody. Shit. Well, what do we have here? A maelstrom. And another maelstrom. I didn't catch the name of the pirates. I know he said it as they were coming in, but it looks like they have a uniform and standard issue equipment. Yeah, another maelstrom here. Well, I do like their colors. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. Bold choice. Bold choice. Were you in that dust up? <laughs> you know you don't get paid extra <laughs> for bravery, right? Yeah, I know. But when you need to rise to the occasion, you gotta rise to the occasion, you know what I mean? You guys okay? Hey boss, I looted everything. I think they're all taken down. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Oh, Barrett, you got a history of this, my dude? Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. Thank you, sir. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? Yes. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Whoa, 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 wait. I didn't ask for any of this. I just wanted to make an honest living, my dude. Hey, um, I wasn't going to bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. Yeah, that is kind of messed How up. About I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place. I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Can you feel Fine. it, Lynn? It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. What about the mine? Don't you need me down there? I had an important job. Now that we've been attacked, oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Well, thanks for everything, Lynn. I appreciate you. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco! Get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Again? No, <laughs> wait. Hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, nice. Established in the year 2188. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now questions uh lots of them are you really just giving me your ship i'm glad that was there technically it's not even mine consider it alone vasco will keep you on course besides i'm making an exception since you can tell constellation about that vision you had that does make sense and wh who exactly is constellation see that's the problem with the settled systems too easy to take everything for granted while everyone else is busy playing politics we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Do you know what it is that we dug up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Why was the Crimson Fleet after you if you didn't even have the artifact yet? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. That does make sense. Well, thank you, my dude. Don't let him break my ship. I won't break anything. So you're Barrett, and you're here with with Lynn, Supervisor Lynn. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna make a vow. I'm returning the ship to him. I'm gonna live an honest life out here in the stars. <laughs> Man, you are cool. Hey, Vasco. Ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Oh, Captain. Oh. It appears you are the new captain of the frontier. Thanks, Vasco. Captain Charles. Captain Charles! 
Oh, I should have named myself Charlie because I feel like me and Bosco are going to be friends. That is so cool. This is out of character. In Fallout 4, they added in um, a ton of different commonly used names that narrators would be able to read back to you. So Charles, yeah, that's a pretty common name. I'm so glad that they can address me as Charles and not like Captain or Random Adventurer. Okay, well, I guess I, I won't take stuff on my own ship. Let's uh, climb up. Captain Charles. Yep. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. Definitely. Likes to say it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. That's probably a really good idea, Vasco. I'm glad you are thinking ahead. It looks like we do have some room for crew. Pilot seat. Nice and cozy. Oh, this is sick. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. I take it I'm not going to be using a lot of those knobs down there. So take off is space. Get up is E. That's I imagine how I how I stand up and move around again. Well, this is it. This is a big moment. We're taking off. That ripply fire sound, dude, they nailed it. Whoa. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems. To I think that might be a good idea. On the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Vasco, why don't you help me out? Hold left alt and use WASD to switch between system and allocate power. Oh, 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 oh. So left alt. The system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Oh. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. So what he's talking about are these menus over on the left side. LAS, I'm assuming that's ballistic and missiles. A sweet spot for better handling during turns. Oh, so this Draw is... your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Right. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boost can Perfect. be for temporary bursts of speed. Boost is left shift. Wow, a massive boost to speed. But I can still Let's lock us back in at 35. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. So, shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield shields are already maxed. In the lower right, hull damage is below it. And then I can up the artificial gravity on our ship by quite a lot, I think. Or take power away from every You've system, including shields, and then pump engine. Familiar with ship combat tactics. Oh shit! 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 Shields! 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 Okay, I'm not used to flying with the movable crosshair in the middle. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. Laser-based weaponry. Okay, I'm going to increase power to the lasers. Oh! This isn't going well. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can walk in to fire a homing missile. Oh, sick. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. I don't know how to... Okay, I know how to target. I don't know how to swap. Whoa! Okay, the lock on's kind of sick. This is almost like bullet time, because it seemed like he was talking super slow. All of these shots are connecting. I'll let him connect. Oh! I can target different systems on that ship as well. Oh, I got hit by the debris as he was coming back. Surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. Thanks, thanks, thanks. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. 
I was we'll just need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Okay, fly close to it. We're pretty close now. I was just about to ask if there was salvaging. Fly close to shipwrecks and press E to loot them. We got 1,354 credits, zero wire, and ship parts. So I'm not going to be exiting my ship to salvage. I just take a ship down and then I loot it. Okay. Some of the stuff I was trying to point out in the middle of that is we have lasers, ballistics, and missiles over on the left side that we can increase and lower the power to. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. I'm gonna make the lasers better. We're locking on. That's their shield generator on the side. I guess I don't know what kind of ammunition I'm shooting right now. It seems like it's ballistic. But in order to break the shields, I need to do laser first, right? Well, the shooting here is super easy. Even though he got out of range of me, we've been able to stay locked on, no problem. My ship's hull integrity is low. He did take a lot of damage there, falling back. Oh, G is missiles. Mouse one is lasers and mouse two is ballistics. Okay, we get it now. So this is like a chunky shrapnel shot. Okay, looking for next target. Our shields should be good. Locking on. We're firing lasers at the shield generator. This one seems a bit more tanky. It also seems like he's trying to maneuver around me. So let's exit targeting and then just try to evade. Boost this way, kick it into reverse, flip around, get behind him. And as I'm moving forward, lock on again. Uh, and I'm gonna hit ballistic damage on his engines. Oh, it's so easy to target the different areas too. That's very intuitive. I like that a lot. Big fan. Okay, this should be the last few shots we need. The amount of Crimson Fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. Yeah, I could see that. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, you think we should leave the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. And you think that's where they're coming from? Press tab to open the data menu from there. You can open the star map. Travel between the stars, zoom out and see the entire star system. Zoom out again and you'll see all the stars in the settled systems. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once. So distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer star first. So if we zoom out, oh, I see we can move around the planet too. There's some starship debris. But this is the solar system here. And if I hit tab again, this is the size of the galaxy. Whoa, that is a lot to get to. It looks like I'm over here, not at the ringed planet, but on the moon. It even said that's where the mining ship was, where the mining station was. So I can look at the other moon of this planet, select that, and this is where we think the pirates are coming from. So set a course. Oh, I can just press X to then travel to it. So I don't even I don't even have to fly that far. Crete. We this have is the moon in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Let me repair my ship before I do that. I just press O. I don't know what this is using, but our whole strength is rising on the right side. Just make sure that gets done. Now press tab. Uh, from there, you can open up the star map. Do I select a landing pad here? The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until you see the Crete Research Lab map icon in its view. Okay, it's right there. We are going to land here. That's very straightforward. All 
follow you from here on out, Captain. Well, nice easy landing. Although it looks like someone is leaving right now. So I could get up and walk out of my ship, I think, or I can just hold X to exit my ship, and that makes it a little bit faster. Vasco. Charles, protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. That, that totally makes sense. Why is the Crimson Fleet after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually <laughs> after escaping from certain death and often with an object multiple people wanted. That checks out. So, uh, how's our ammo? It's okay. Another ship leaving right now. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. And it doesn't sound too abandoned, does it? Okay, some creatures on the planet. I'm not going to touch those. Seems like that shell might be thick. I see the area up ahead. Yeah, this atmosphere is such a strange color. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Are you talking about the local wildlife, my dude? Wait, is he just talking to me through my ear? Press F to bring up the scanner. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features, such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. So I could have scanned that creature behind me. That's Vasco there, we can't scan him. Oh, so cool seeing the ring planet back there. Am I correct in saying that this entire planet would be explorable? Because if that's the case, that's pretty cool. Okay, Crete Research Lab, we made it. 20 XP just for being here, how nice. Can I uh, go ahead and just log that one, scan that in? So I've scanned 13% of this planet, I think. That didn't take that long. Of the life on this planet. Ooh, some silver. independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Well, so am I. Flashlight on as we enter. This place does look pretty cool. Can I close the garage? Oh, I'm kind of locked in here with them now. But hey, reinforcements can't come in from outside. I will take that med pack too. I don't know how to heal yet. I feel like I'm going to need to figure that out soon. Just like a lot of other Bethesda games, it seems as though a lot of the world is interactable, even if you don't necessarily want to. Like, do I need to pick up this microscope for anything? It does have a value of 240. I don't know. Maybe that's a lot. Well, this foam cup is worth five. So it's worth a few foam cups. Right, doors opening. We're just going inside. Okay. Chance to breathe. Maybe I shouldn't have my gun out right away. I'm gonna holster that. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Interesting. I thought they were stealing from them. See, this is why we need Vasco. He's connecting the dots for us. Workplace safety is everyone's job. Wear your goggles, wear your gloves, wear your respirator. Luckily, all of that is inside of my spacesuit, so I am qualified to be here on the job site. I don't know if anyone else is even here, though. This place kind of looks like they abandoned it. I mean, if it was occupied, wouldn't they turn some lights on? and not just have random lights kicked around. Well, this is looking more habitable here. Oh, and I'm hearing some voices of pirates up ahead. Open fire! Well, that was quick. Can they shoot through this? I'm going out. I guess they saw me through the window. I, can't see! I never said I was stealthy. 
Hey, maybe don't stand right in front of me. Crap, they seem to have a lot better firepower than I do. And our friend's getting hurt. Hold on, hip fire into his ass. Where is this coming from? Oh, he crouched down on the other side. That was smart. You are trying to kill me. But I'm not technically alive. Well, they could still, you know, shut you down. I, I wouldn't go into that with your only defense. That's all I'm saying, Bosco. These guys don't seem too bad. Maybe I should use their weapon against them. We'll equip one of these maelstroms. Oh, yeah. Even has a laser built on the front of it. I wonder if I can mod out weapons and customize them how I want. A notebook here, but I can't read it. We just took it. I will take that succulent for my ship. Yeah, vending machine is 75 credits for a soda. So that 300 credit microscope is basically nothing. Ooh, bolt cutter here. You never know when you need a bolt cutter though. All right, we're breaching again. TV still turned off. Three targets down and they sent s several ships away from this place. So they may not have that much staff here. What is a terror morph? Oh, it doesn't sound good. Oh, man. That was the best. <laughs> Classic United Colonies. Put something in a cage until it kills you. Are they listening to a recording? <laughs> One more time. I'm going to push out. Wow, their weapons are effective. Right, I'm going to take their stuff. Try to stay low. I hear talking from the other side. He's on the second floor. Signs of life in the I'm gonna try to move. The enemy has returned. Roger that, Bosco. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, he went flying. I think there's more upstairs. Quick reload. Oh, glad I checked right. My, my head. Your head, and you seem totally fine. Well, I mean, they are wearing spacesuits. Okay, I'm afraid to push up now that we've agitated them. Oh, they're coming to me, though. That's okay. That's one down. Probably still one more on the right. Might be clear. Did they move? I do not feel pain. Or did I? I think that was them there. Terrible. I was wondering if they moved or maybe I damaged their suit and broke the seal. So they couldn't stay here anymore. Like they just passed out. Couldn't live in the station. I don't know if that's a thing. Well, it does look like they were not the original operators of this facility. Dead scientists on the ground. That's never a good sign. Oh, another succulent and another succulent. You know, succulents are great plants because they are drought resistant. You don't have to give them too much water. They just need some sunshine. There's so many succulents. <laughs> oh, what were they touching inside this thing? I would not want to feel that even with gloves on. Pirate back into the room. One close too. Wonder if there's melee. Like silent takedowns. I suppose now's the time to find out. Whoa. Hi. Oh. I panicked. I panicked. I panicked. Let it rip. Bosco, you see that guy up top, right? I think we leveled up. I'm pushing. Oh, he ran. Man, this gun is steady. What was that explosion? I think I breached his oxygen tank. I'll take that. I have like 40 of these maelstroms now. Hopefully they sell for a bit more than a microscope. Ooh, and a utility knife. You never know when you need one of those. Oh, that's a succulent. This is also a different type of succulent. <laughs> I see where this is going already. Oh no. Oh, I found an ammo crate. Fill in all of the open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill the gaps. Each key can only be used once. So I probably rotate this around until it's like that. That looks right. And then press E and wait. Oh, there's a different key. There's layers of keys. So theoretically it could be the third one. I think it is. 
and then we select the second one to fill in this one. That's definitely more advanced lock picking than I'm used to. This one might be the weird one. Yep, that lines up. And then lastly, number four. That was hard. All of that for some .27 caliber rounds and shotgun shells. Oh, a deep mining space helmet. We'll take that. It looks like it was here just for show though. All right, next room. That leads up to the roof. Oh! What? What can we make use of? I was just attacked by a creature. Is that the same? That is the same one that had the glove thing, the glo glove containment area. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to touch it. I'm glad I don't have to touch it. I don't have any digi picks to open the, oh, there was one on the ground underneath that little critter. Okay, now it's time to put my experience to the test. Do we think it's this to start out? You can see the next layer underneath it too. So let's start and then probably number two for the top part, yes. Then likely three for here and one for this. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Inside, we have a new gun. The Instigating Rattler. Instigating deals double damage to targets with full health. So if you want to shoot first, double damage, 10 physical, that would move up to 20 for this pistol. We have a Synapse Alpha credits and 27 caliber bullets. I don't know what caliber my main gun I'm using right now is, but we're heading up to the roof. I should probably figure out the caliber pretty quick. Okay, this looks like it's still enclosed. Hey, bud, I'm glad you can use ladders. I was wondering if robots could. Looks like some more medical supplies on the far side. We'll take those. And that's them on the roof. Okay, before we do that, I'm gonna quickly open my menu and see if I can favorite any of these healing aids. Yes, we can. B is favorite. So med pack, press B. We're gonna give it the hotkey of four. So if I ever need to heal, which I do right now. Hey, perfect. Hey guys, how you, you doing? You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? I'm not gonna tell you that. That's right, I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to leave him alone. Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. Or after that ship. That's unfortunate. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That is not true. That statement is partially correct. Oh, crap. <laughs> the frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of... Ant. You see? I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. I don't suppose we can just agree to disagree, right? Like, no hard feelings? If he were here, Barrett would say he was proud of you for asking that. <laughs> Thanks, the Bosco. is no. Well, then it's time to make this place a safer... I'm gonna kill him. I was hoping I could do that a little faster. That guy's level six. I'm scared of that. Uh, I'm trying to find any solid cover I can, and this is looking pretty solid. But more reinforcements are joining the fight soon. Okay, not entirely accurate. I should have probably seen that coming. Okay, that didn't hit anything. This is an SMG. I'm going to have to close that gap. Oh, if only I had a sniper rifle. This would be such a good vantage point. Bosco! Bosco, you okay down there? Oh my God, moon gravity. Whoa. Man, I could have scaled up that building. That was an explosion. Wait, I think he had multiple layers of armor. I'm gonna continue to take cover here. I think that explosion was too far away. I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. Come on. Oh, your health is low. Thanks for telling me that. Oh, we don't even have to break our animation to heal. That's very nice. It just immediately starts. Over your own survival. Uh, I am not prioritizing our deaths. He has so much armor. What in the hell is that? 
Also, it seems like I whipped out of cover over here. Look at that. You just kind of snap out of that cover. That's very nice. Come on, he's one HP, come on. Bosco, are you shooting him? I see you over there. I'm pushing. No, you are not running away. Got him. Perfect, that was the last shot too before I needed to reload. At least three more pirates up ahead. I see a lot of bullets whizzing by. Oh, they're pretty far away. We can just kind of sprinkle damage into them. There is someone flanking around on the right. Bro, I only got 12 more shots with this gun. That's not good. If I, uh, is this, does this stop time if I open up my inventory? What other weapons we got here? We're out on the Maelstrom. Oh, these guns did have different mods on them. That's very cool. Solace is a laser pistol. Hold on, let's use a laser pistol. Can I hold it down or is it, is there any recoil? I mean, it's shooting light, right? Okay, still a little recoil. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty accurate though, even at long range. <laughs> Is that okay? That's okay, right? Missed everything, I gotta push. I also need to heal. Health is low. Hey, no sudden movements. <laughs> I don't remember how to melee in this game. Or in, in Bethesda games, I think in Fallout, it was like you hold alt or something. And you could bash with your gun. I'm getting hit from the back. I need to move, move, move. Okay, we broke line of sight, so I have cover here, but I don't know where that person above me is. I can at least use my vantage point here versus this guy. Yeah, big damage. Vosco doing well, too. Uh, I ran out of oxygen. <gasps> okay, so I can only do so much. We'll call CO2 to build up. Is CO2 still building up? Am I okay? I'm afraid to move right now. There's a pirate on the other side of this rock. I just barely see them. Oh, they see me now. Okay, so all of that sprinting was scary. Noted. I'll try to keep that under control. Meanwhile. Okay, laser pistol, not the best. Not the best gun I've ever seen. Nice. So, the Crimson Fleet won't be tailing us anymore. We need to reach the Alpha Centauri system, Captain. The planet of Jemison. Roger that, bud. Now... I think we can take off from here, though, without being followed. You know, after I loot everybody. Before we leave, we'll make sure we scan these little guys. 13% scan still. Tem temperament wary. They're wary of new people. I do think exploring planets is going to be really fun. Oh, the game has a photo mode, too. Okay, I'm getting back on the ship before... Before more bad things happen, I just want to be amongst the stars. Captain Charles, to reach the lodge, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Roger that, bud. Do not worry. This will all become second nature before too long. I hope you're right. So, fast travel directly from the mission menu. So one small step, press R to automatically prod a course to the next objective. Wow, that's super easy. And it needed to be because navigating something this scale would be hard to wrap your brain around, I feel like in some instances. So I just jump in the cockpit, I say, let's go, and then press a button. Whoa. Is this? Starship Frontier. Look at that. United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Maintain course. Uh, understood. Heard. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Wait a minute. Is smuggling a thing? All right, we've been cleared for landing. I'm bringing it in. And setting it down. Wow. Well, I have to say, that was a very, very high first impression from me. Wow, look how different this planet looks, too. Completely different color of its atmosphere. We're going to be exploring this city in the next episode, and that could be releasing very, very soon. Make sure you subscribe to see them all. We're releasing 14 videos in the first seven days of Starfield's official release. I'll see you again very soon.